In this video, I'm gonna share with you why personal development is essential for business success and growth. Here's a little bit about what I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna start with my personal story and how personal development helped me break through to a whole new level of my business and life. And then I'm gonna get into the two biggest ingredients that were present for me that you can, I hope, apply in your business and your life so that you can grow and evolve. I started my business 15, almost 15 years ago. And back then, I was a very different person than I am now. Any one of my clients or friends who's known me a long time can tell you that. Back then, I believed that I didn't need personal development. And my entire focus, for most of my childhood, teenagehood, adult, whatever, was based on this belief that strategy is everything. If I just do the work and I have really good strategies and I focus on the mental part of life, then everything will be great. Now, that strategy worked for me throughout school, college, my, the early days of my career. Just work really hard, create outcomes, collect a paycheck, and you're good. The problem is that over the years, as I got older, that strategy became less and less workable. What ended up happening was about almost eight years ago, I got burnt out. I was working so hard. I was focusing all my effort, all my attention on work, 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 and I wasn't doing any personal development whatsoever. It was all about strategy and business. And eventually, I burnt out, and I, and I had a breakdown. I had a physical breakdown, an emotional breakdown, and a mental breakdown because that's unsustainable, I know now, in hindsight. So I had this huge breakdown, my business fell apart, and I stopped making money. It just all kind of collapsed at the same time. And then I met a mentor. I met a group of mentors, actually. These mentors helped me or told me that I needed to turn my focus around to the inside. And I, at first, I really resisted. I remember one of my mentors, Jake, he wanted me to meditate every day. And I would get on my calls, my coaching calls with Jake, and he'd say, you know, and I'd start spewing out all the problems that I was having and all the complaints, all the blame, all the things. And he would ask me, he would let me go on and on. And then he'd just say simply, are you meditating? And I remember going, Jake, I can't meditate. I don't have time to meditate. I have all these problems that I need to solve. I need your help to solve these problems. Then I'll do the meditating. And I remember one day in particular, he had gotten fed up with me. And he said, you know what, Michelle, you don't get it. You don't get it at all. The meditation is the more important thing than all the strategies. When you focus on the inside, the outside will change. So I agreed to start doing it because he said he wouldn't work with me anymore unless I did the inner work. So I started meditating. I started doing yoga. I started reading self-help books. I started to work with Jake about the deeper inner stuff that was going on, my feelings, my limiting beliefs, like excavating these stories from my childhood and angers and resentments that I had for years and years, like people that I hadn't forgiven, grudges that I was holding. I was still hanging on to the fact that I hadn't gotten into Harvard in, in, my, in 12th grade. Like I was still angry about that. Like I had all these things inside of me that were holding me back, that were constricting my heart and my whole emotional and physical and mental world and spiritual even too. Well, over the course of a couple of years, as I started to transform all those things, lo and behold, the business started to transform too. And this was really clear that it was the inner work that was doing this because what would happen is people would come to me and say things like, wow, I didn't re resonate with you before, but now I resonate with you. I feel your energy is really positive now. I got this feedback a lot. People that knew me from the past in my life would come back around and say, wow, you've changed so much. How can I work with you now, right? I started to generate clients that came to me because they said they were drawn to me. And it wasn't because of the emails that I was writing or the marketing I was doing, but they were saying things like, it's just your energy. All in all, over the course of, of that first couple of years, the business quadrupled in size. And in fact, the next year after that, my business, or that year, the first full calendar year after that, my business hit a million dollars in revenues. And no one was more surprised than me. 
So before I share with you what it takes to have that kind of transformation, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the alert button so that you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. And maybe even make a comment below and let me know how this is landing for you. So what do I believe happened in that situation? Well, I believe that business offers an opportunity to challenge ourselves, to push our edges. It's an opportunity, at least my business and maybe yours too, to be in leadership to communicate more effectively, to enroll people in a vision, to put ourselves out there. And all of those things require us to be confident, to be connected to ourselves, to our own heart, to be open-hearted. I had built so many walls around myself with strategies and systems and straight A's that I didn't let people get close to me. I didn't let clients really deeply connect with me. I had all these boundaries and things that were keeping me separate, and that was keeping my business difficult and small. As I started to unwind all that, and I started to open up all those layers, people started to feel more connected, like I was more authentic, like they could trust me more. And that is really the beauty of personal development. When we start to heal the old wounds, we start to let go of the old stories. When we start to build trust in ourselves and trust in whatever is greater than ourselves, we can start to grow, we can take bigger risks, we can try new things without feeling like our entire ego is wrapped up in a specific outcome. It allows us to just take more chances and, and be bigger. The two things that I've identified are the most important for this kind of work, and I'm not saying they're the only two things, but they're the two things that seem to come back again and again when I'm working with my own clients now, helping them have personal transformations that can lead to bigger business growth. The first is desire. I had gotten disconnected from my desire and I had confused desire with wanting the things that I should want, that the world, that my parents, that the culture told me that I needed in order to be a good person or a successful woman. I had disconnected from my true desire, the innate things that I really, really wanted for myself. For example, one of those things was creativity. I had completely dissociated from the fact that deep down, I'm an artist. I, as a kid, I loved to dance and sing and act and paint and design things. None of my business at the time was built around those things. I had completely separated from my own desires. Tapping back into s slowing down, meditating, doing yoga, working with my coach, allowed me to tap back into desire and to start to build desire back into my business. I desired to be creative. I desired to have experiences that were rich and new and have intimacy with people, with clients, right? Having the desire for those things and then creating the business around those desires was a big, big breakthrough. I instead, and before that, I had tried to not have the desires that I had so that I could focus, right? Instead of aligning the business around the things that I naturally desired and loved to do. The second big shift was getting a mentor, having mentorship, having people in my life that would help me see myself more clearly and help me dig into who I really was so that I could create greater alignment with the business. Having mentors was such a game changer. I never had a mentor before that. Or if I did, it was only focused on strategy and business, not on the internal piece. The problem when we focus externally on just the strategies, on just the marketing, or just the business stuff, is that we can end up creating a business that serves the market well, it might even be successful, but is not a fit for who we really are. It's like wearing clothes that don't fit us very well, right? It might actually look good to the outside viewer, observer, but if the waistband is digging in and the, the shoes are rubbing and the tag is scratching, it's uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good. And then when we get home at the end of the day, we just wanna rip off those clothes. When we create a business like that, from the outside in, it can be much the same way, it just doesn't fit doesn't feel good. And that's where personal development comes in. When we go inward first and develop the business from the inside out, then not only can we create better outcomes, right? It also feels better every step along the way. 
if you are looking for personal development in order to grow your business and have a more abundant mindset and have more joy and alignment in what you're doing, then that's what I do. I'm that mentor that helps people create that in their lives. If you're interested in having a conversation about if or how I can support you, you can set up a discovery call with me at superstaractivator.com slash go, or just click on the link below. I hope to meet you soon.